This weekend, the swimming and diving teams will compete in this year's Patriot League championships. Head coach Mickey Wender says it's been a banner year for the Black Knights. It's been as good a year as, as we've had here in a lot of different ways, in and out of the pool. And, and I'm just really proud of the, the way our teams conducted themselves through the course of the season, both in the classroom, in the company, in the barracks. Um, they're, they've been as well-rounded a group as we've had, and our guys were just named um, academic All-American team, getting over a 3.0 GPA as a group, and um, so they're they're doing great things. I'm really pleased. The track and field teams will also be taking part in their Patriot League championships over the weekend. Head coach Troy Engel knows his athletes have the right mindset to be successful. I think it's the same thing that, that makes all Army sports teams great. It's it's the, the, the quality of leadership that we have and the understanding of, of the team aspect of what we do. Um, you know, the Army's a family. Um, the, the leadership here thrives upon um, reliance upon each other and support of each other. And those kind of attributes bode well for a conference setting. Um, we know that we're going to go in as a team and, and win as a team and perform well as a team. A competition with Navy also highlights the weekend slate. The wrestling team will take on the mids Friday night. Head coach Joe Heskett says the Black Knights have been preparing for this match all season. Very exciting times for their for this program for our wrestlers. Um, so that's that's really one of the things that you know kind of drives us uh, during the season to prepare for the episode with Navy and uh, the postseason with the IWAs and Nationals. So, uh, like I said, there's been a strong focus on on preparation up to this point. The gymnastics team will also see their academy rivals at this weekend's All Academy Championships. Head coach Doug Van Everen says this competition needs to be a springboard for the rest of the season. This is a big deal for us. I mean, we have to do well here, and uh, I mean the guys know it. And so, but we're right at the cusp. You know, I mean, our hit percentage is the best that it's been for years, and so and it's progressively gotten better. And so. You know, from our first meet at Penn State to the West Point Open to the meet, the duel at Navy, I mean, it's gotten better and better and better. And so that is a huge part of being able to put it all together and win is hit your routines. And so we're doing that, you know, and we're getting better at it. And so I'm hoping that Saturday it really does all come together. Two more spring sports will start their seasons this weekend. The baseball team will travel to North Carolina for a weekend series with High Point. Here's head coach Joe Sotolano. Well, it's a test. You know, we've been studying the whole time when it comes to practice, and now it's a test. And, uh, you know, it's a series of practice and test and practice and test. And, and this is one of our tests. And it's early, and by no means are we anywhere near the club that we're going to be towards the end of the year. But it's a, it's a chance to sort of see where we are at this point in the juncture. So we'll see if we can uh, go out there and compete to the best of our ability and come back and reevaluate and keep making adjustments. The golf team opens their spring season on Sunday when they take on Florida Atlantic. Head coach Brian Watts likes how the team has taken advantage of some warm weather this winter. It's been fantastic. The guys have had an opportunity to at least get out on the driving range and uh, hit balls for the last oh, almost three weeks. And so uh, we feel much better uh, about where we're at at this point of the year where we were a year ago. Um, physically, we've been able to you know, work, work on our games outdoors, which is, which is huge. Um, but it, sometimes that takes away from what we were doing a year ago and we were working a lot more on the mental side of the game. So we're going to start incorporating a lot more of the, the, the mental side uh, as, we, as we get closer to competition, which obviously we're coming up this weekend. It's another busy schedule for the women's tennis team as they hit the road for matches against Rutgers and UMass. The Black Knights will also have a home match against St. Bonaventure on Saturday. Head coach Paul Peck says the team's confidence has grown over the past few weeks. We've played well and there's been a couple teams there where I wasn't sure how we'd do against them and we did pretty well. So I'm pretty excited about that and I think they are too. So it's helping their confidence level. And also, you know, you're, when you play better players, it pushes your game. If you play weaker players, sometimes you get, become complacent. So, you know, it's pushing us in the right direction. So when it comes time for the conference, you know, hopefully we'll be prepared. The men's tennis team will also be on the road, squaring off with Ball State, Lipscomb, and Academy rival Air Force. Head coach Jim Poling was happy with last weekend's performance. We beat Stony Brook. They beat us the last two years. We beat them 4-3, great match. And Alex Van Velzer was the deciding match for us. And then we beat uh, UConn, who also has beaten us the last two years in a row. So it was, uh, it was a good weekend for us. 
And in Vassar, we played D3 team here. Uh, they're a solid little team too. So the, they got the, their number one doubles team is seventh in the nation. So we had some good tennis this weekend. It was good. The season is winding down for the Army hockey team. The Black Knights have a home-and-home -home series with AIC this weekend. Head coach Brian Riley says this is an exciting part of the year. The goal at, at, at this stage is to hopefully be playing your best hockey, and, and, and that's something that we've talked about. Um, obviously, uh, two teams that will present uh, challenges for us in uh, AIC and, and Sacred Heart, but I know that the guys are, are excited about the hockey that's still ahead of them, and um, like I said, ultimately uh, feeling good about ourselves going into the playoffs. Bright and early Saturday morning, the rifle team will host its NCAA qualifier. Assistant coach Rick Johnson says the team is ready for a big performance in this match. It's been going pretty good this week. Everybody's really focused. Uh, they certainly know uh, that this match, you know, is an important one, NCAA qualifier. Um, yeah, they're focused. They're working on you know, the, the fine-tuning of their uh, techniques and everything. Later that afternoon, the lacrosse team will host VMI. After Wednesday's win over Wagner, head coach Joe Albarisi gave credit to his seniors. I was really happy on, on, on several accounts. Uh, one is just our guys being ready to play, and, and I thought I really uh, tipped my hat to the senior class, the upper class. They were ready to go. Um, you know, Wagner might, uh, you know, is in a rebuilding process, may not have a, grabbed a, a, a lesser team's attention, um, but, you know, we just talked about, about ourselves and improving and trying to get a little bit better, and I think we did that today. So I was really, really uh, pleased in the way our seniors uh, led the way today. Rounding out the weekend, the basketball teams take on American. The women will travel to Washington, D.C. for their 2 p.m. contest. Head coach Dave McGarity says the team will look to bounce back after a setback to the Eagles in January. Heartbreaking loss and, and something we point to now is we're, you know, in a deadlock for, for second place with Navy and, and unfortunately being swept by Navy, it, it, it puts us clearly in the third seed. But... There's still a lot of basketball to play, and, and this is a very, very big challenge for us this weekend, and, and, and our last three games really are, are going to be very, very tough. Back at West Point, the men's basketball team will host American at 4 p.m. Head coach Zach Spiker says the Eagles are a very well-rounded team. Offensively, uh, they get the right shot every single time for the right player, and on defense, uh, they really make it difficult for you to score. So it's a tremendous challenge for our team. Uh, they're in the top three team, one of the top three teams in our league. They're there for a reason, and uh, it's a great opportunity for our program moving forward. With this week's weekend preview, Rick Johnston, ITT Excellus Night Vision.